Hey everybody, it's Ramona, welcome back. Um, it's time for some empties, trying to get back on the once a week empties to keep my basket low. And every time I ask when you want me to do them, I get response, do it weekly. So I'm trying to get back to the weekly thing. Okay, um, my scrubs are clean, don't worry about that. I'm a mess because my unit finally got N95s in but the hospital um, is re-sterilizing them and they cannot re-sterilize them if there is makeup on the N95s. So we're mandated not to wear makeup, you know, obviously from here down. I could do it from there up, but this morning I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't do my hair, didn't do, I didn't do anything except got in the shower, brush my teeth. Okay, enough about that. So, empties. This is uh, Blackberry Bread by... Um, Gypsy Rose, Gypsy Monroe, sorry, Gypsy Monroe. I can smell this through the bag. It was that good. And this was uh, poured, this was cured on uh, November the 1st, 2018. So it's, you know, a year and a few months old. This was so good. Blackberry jam and fresh baked bread. Yes, and yes, it was like just a perfect combination of both of them, and it was exactly what it says it is, blackberry bread. So good. So, so good. Um, where should I go next? Okay, uh, from Swan Creek, I finished a honey-soaked apple, and I finished leather. So, a couple of weeks ago, I mixed the two, um, and I did that again this week, and then in the end, I had like two extra leather left over by itself, so I just melted that by itself. But honey-soaked apples and leather together smells really good. So I'm going to be putting that on my customs list, see if somebody can make that for me, and I'm sure somebody can. Uh, from Vintage Chic Scent, Eggnog Great Pumpkin, and this was from 11 of 2017, so that's like two and a half years old, and it still had pretty good throw. I mean, no, real, no, no. Let me take that back. It had, it had medium throw, like five to six, which still isn't bad for uh, something that's two and a half years old. This was eggnog pumpkin layer cake and cream cheese frosting, and it was really good. Um, I melted one of the cookies I got from uh, Super Tarts a couple of weeks ago in Oklahoma. And this was, um, I, know this, I don't have the scent note right here, but it was like blueberries and biscuits or something like that. And yes, it was. And it was nine out of 10 throw. It was really good. Oklahoma, what, if you like blueberries and biscuits and bakery and things like that, Oklahoma is going to be your best friend. Uh, from Destination Wax, Desert Tumbleweed. This was a little four pack. And this is sage, sweetgrass, cedar, peppermint, spearmint, and vanilla sugar. Now this, the throw on this was really light. I can smell a little bit of spearmint in here right now, but I was kind of surprised because Destination Wax usually throws pretty good in my house, and uh, it's only like a year old, so it probably should have, well, depending on shoulda, coulda, woulda, the fact is it threw six-ish. But uh, that doesn't turn me off of Destination Wax by any means. Uh, Tiffany Candles Vanilla Wafer. This was poured in October of 2000. No, not October. April of 2018. So this is two years old. And this had minimal scent. Minimal scent. But that was two years old. So whatever. Now on the other hand, Destination Wax Fizzy Pop. I can't even tell you when I got this. Uh, and there's no date on it. It's at least a year old, if not longer. And this still threw seven, seven and a half, no complaints whatsoever. It was really, really good. Okay, from um, Sugar and Spice Gourmet Soy Candle, Chai Tea Sugar Cookie and Cookie Butter Crack. And oh my gosh, these are really good. I think I like the Chai Tea better. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This cookie butter is really, really good. I think this is the one that was stronger. Cookie butter was stronger. I did enjoy both of them, but I did like the cookie butter better. 
uh, Yankee Candle Juicy Citrus and Sea Salt. And this was a surprise because generally speaking, these Yankee Candle melts that I get at Walmart are great throwers. This one smells pretty good in the package, but I couldn't smell it in the house. Like it had minimal throw. Like I really had to kind of stop and go over to the warmer and I was really, really disappointed because I love citrus. I love the scent of this on cold. I've had this one before um, and it was fine, but this one is at least a year old. So maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. Um, on the other hand, Sensational's Himalayan Pink Sea Salt, oh, sorry, Himalayan Pink Salt, very good thrower. Oh, it's so strong, it's so good. It's fresh, it's salty, um, it's a great, I do this in the bathroom, really great bathroom scent. Um, that takes us down to Scentsy, and this is uh, Caramel Apple Craze. This is so good. This was the scent of the month for maybe like, I don't know, October, November, something like that, I can't remember. This is warm, gooey apples. So good, so good. The throw was like eight out of 10 on that one, loved it. Uh, I melted another one of the Indigo collection. This was Indigo Ice and I don't have the set notes with me, but this one I did not care for. Um, and I've melted like three other ones that I did enjoy, but this one I did not. It has some kind of like, I don't know, like a musky, perfumey something in it. And I, I, I ended up taking this one out. I did not care for that one. And then on Saturday, you'll see um, Scentsy Saturday, Lemon Verbena, and Peach Nectar. Uh, there was a little mishap in the choosing, so I took the first two. So you'll see that on Saturday. And then finally, I have um, some Scentsy Testers that I'm melting in my, I have a couple little uh, tea light warmers around the house. One was Hug in a Mug. And this is like, like coffee and cocoa or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Um, cider Mill, loved it. And I just kind of reach in my bag and pull things out, but not by anything. Be Mary. This, oh, whoa, why does it say hugging a mug on the back of that? Isn't that weird? Oh, because I have the covers mixed up. Okay, that's why. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Ocean, which I did not care for. I thought I would love Ocean, but because I like, you know, citrusy, water, aquatic, fresh. This was really perfumey to me. I like, I even had, so I was like, what is, what is that melting? Do you ever stop and say, what am I melting? Because you, you kind of like forget and it's not what you thought it was going to be. That was, was, that was. Cedar Cider, Cedar Cider. <laughs> really, really good. Probably like 50 50% like cider and then some obviously cedar. Um, here's the hug in a mug. And uh, enchanted rose. No, 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 no. This is the one that I didn't like. Very rose, very um, perfumey rose, off-putting to me rose. But if you like rose, you'll like that one. Okay, so that is it for this week's empties. Uh, tomorrow, I don't even know when, I'll put this up tomorrow, I guess, I don't know. So I guess, yeah, tomorrow, but if you see this tomorrow, it'll be today, so, sorry. Later today, you'll see a new melting basket. How's that? Okay, so I hope everybody's having a great um, week. It's the weekend now. I'm gonna be working this weekend. So stay in, stay safe, stay happy, and take care. I'll see you soon.